Okay, and I was just messing around, um, just finished up a lesson on Skype, and I was noodling with some different ideas, and I came up with this, and I really liked it. It reminded me of like Vito Brada, Nuno Bittencourt, that type of uh, melodic, poppy, tasty commercial vibe, and I want to show it to you guys in standard tuning. So I just wrote this about seven minutes ago. Let me do it slow. <laughs> fun. So standard tuning. By the way, subscribe. Take a second. Subscribe to this channel. Share this stuff. You know? And uh, follow. Do all that good stuff. 2A slide to 4. First finger. And it's been a while since I've done like just the putting the stuff up there for you guys. I've been so busy with the paid service of CBT. So here's a, something a little different. 2A slide to 4. Lower the thumb because you got a big stretch here. Keep it there. Palm mute it. Now, that 4th fret A, and go down up. And then we need a 6D and 8G. It's a Warren D. Martini chord. And uh, hit those two strings. You can hit the A string with it, but I don't think I am. And then palm mute down up that 4th fret A. And then... Um, Take the middle finger, bar the 6th fret D and G. And then go right back to the 6th, 8th D, G. Palm mute the open A, down up, and then go open A, 7 D, 6 G with middle and index. So kind of Vito Brado wish, huh? Palm mute 5D slide to 7. 6G pinch if you want. So 7D palm mute slide to 9. Go um, 8 on the G. A little pinch if you want. And then 9D pinch, slide to 7, pull off to 6, and then open E, 7A, so it's, if you took the palm muting off, it would be, kind of Paul Gilbertish. So, hold on. So, um, palm mute open E, down up, and then 10 pull off the 9 on the B, 11 G, and then an upstroke on the um, open high E. Nine B pull off to seven, and then nine G upstroke on the open B. I like that open being on the end, right? And then um, eight G, maybe serve the B and E with it open. Hammer to the nine G. And then 8G, 12B. So it's. And then 3A, 6D, with it ring, and then hit it with a quick rest. So.
mean, I'm digging it. It's something that makes me want to, to uh, write a song with it, you know? But that's what's happened when you sit around and just create, create stuff, you know? There's nothing new under the sun, really. You know, you got 12 notes uh, pitch-wise to work with, and it's what you do with them. And um, so uh, sky's the limit as far as possibilities. Um, play things slow and kind of, you know. Could've went. Right? Or, could have went, but I wanted a different tonality, so so I hope that helps you. Check out my paid services, CBT Guitar Lessons, custom video tablature, or tabs. Uh, you pick the song, the band, the details, the specifics. I handwrite the tabs in detail with accuracy in the forefront of my mind. Um, Timestamp everything, very detailed, and then scan them, send them to your email, and then the video that accompanies that. Um, custom video tablature. Email rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com with the specifics, and I'll get you a price and payments are made to my PayPal and uh, yeah it just goes on from there and definitely subscribe man my subscriber count percentage wise is going up a little bit you guys would be shocked to hear that it's like a science in YouTube I can go in and look at the analytics and um, it used to be like seven six or seven percent of the people that view my videos are actually subscribers and last time I checked it was like eleven or twelve percent are actual subscribers so um but imagine if it was a hundred percent i mean shoot imagine if it was forty percent just wild a lot of people don't take the time to go subscribe do it you'll be uploaded uploaded or what am i trying to say you'll be if you hit the notifications icon you'll be notified that was the word i'm looking for anytime there's a new video on this channel so why not it's it's a win-win for you and uh spread the word all that good stuff and uh yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Have fun with this riff though, man. Take your time.